friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, and are you looking for a recipe that can feed a large family, or you're having relatives come over, or you just need something that is delicious and gooey and ooey and fantastic? Well, I have the video for you. This is gonna be a recreation of Sam the Cooking Guy here on YouTube. So I'll post his video down below. His best ever breakfast. It is an Italian style biscuit breakfast. It is so delicious and easy to put together. So come along and let's get cooking. To start this recipe off, we're gonna use one packet of sopasada. I probably butcher that, so apologies now. I found that in the deli section at Kroger. One shallot and then a handful of grape tomatoes. Get that all diced up and then to a medium high heat pan, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of butter. I'm out of olive oil, so I just went in with this non-stick spray. And then once you get that heated, we are gonna be adding in all of our diced ingredients. Now, I would recommend putting this into a bowl and then putting it into your pan because anything other than what I'm doing here is a hundred percent easier like use your hands do something other than this because my tomatoes went everywhere so just fair warning this yeah this was not the way to go about it but once you get that all put in you're going to just evenly spread out your sopressata so nothing is sticking together I went about 30 seconds with this and then added in one minced garlic cooked that down for about another 15 seconds or so just so everything was a little bit soft and fragrant and then once you are done with this we are going to be moving over into our wet ingredients. Once that is cut down, you are going to set to the side so it can cool down. Now this recipe guys is literally so easy. I I blew through this in probably 15 minutes if that this is definitely enough to serve a large family it was just Sheldon and I so we definitely had enough for leftovers and on to our liquid mixture I'm going to be using six eggs this is gonna start the base of our meal I actually heated this up today for lunch and it was perfectly fine it was not like ooey or gross or anything it tasted so good even the second time around now we are gonna go in with about a cup of milk get that all mixed together then for our seasonings we're just going to do salt pepper and a little bit of crushed red pepper now I wish I would have gone in with some more crushed red pepper just to give it a little bit more flavor but it was perfectly fine and then a handful of mozzarella I use the bag mixture Sam does use fresh mozzarella so I might try that again next time and then just a little bit of basil get that all mixed together and then we are going to move on to our biscuits so my store only only had the jumbo butter flavored ones. Sam does use the regular flaky kind, so I might try that next time because I do feel like these biscuits did kind of soak up that egg mixture just a little bit, but it was not bad. Once you get all your biscuits cut up, you're just going to add them into your egg mixture and get that combined. At this point, our diced ingredients should be cooled down, so we are just going to be adding that to this mixture and get that stirred together. At this point I do have my oven prepped at 350. To my baking dish I just sprayed it with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and then added in my ingredients. I just wanted to get this spread out so that each bite had a little bit of that tomato and that sopasada and that everything was just nice and combined. Now Sam did forget this step and so he used the pesto at the very end like I am doing. I'm not sure when he would have added this in if he hadn't forgot so I just wanted to do exactly how he did his. I'm just going in with about six scoops or so of this just to make sure that again every bite had a little bit of that pesto. We are going to be putting this in the oven for 40 minutes. I did check it at about 25 and then again at 30 minutes just to make sure that it wasn't burning or anything but it got nice and crunchy on the top. Those biscuits turned out golden brown and it was so delicious. Okay so after 40 minutes I just took it out of the oven. It smells so good. It's so beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. Hope you guys 
enjoyed this recipe. I will put the link to Sam's video down below. Go check it out and let him know I sent you his way. If you need some more recipe ideas, here is my latest video for three super easy crock pot recipes that turned out so delicious. And I will catch you guys Sunday for my next video. Bye!